Hey guys, I have a question. What kind of children do you wish for? What kind of life do you wish for your children? You want them to be safe. The first thing when you have a baby, the first thing you're concerned about is just survival, health. Right? You want your children to be safe. And you want them to be healthy. Thinking of their life, surely you're thinking about happiness, success. Maybe you're thinking about their marriage, their family. Maybe first you're thinking about their education. But I really want you to think about it, honestly. What kind of life do you wish for for them? What kind of children do you want to leave behind? So I think it's really important that we believe in our children. You know, they have dreams. Sometimes it's hard to find those dreams, but they have dreams. Sometimes, many times, those dreams might seem different to what you were hoping they would do. But surely, there is some incredible and unique purpose and value to their dream. So should we believe in their dream or not believe in their dream? Actually, we should totally, I think, believe in their dream. It is actually not so important what nature of dream they have. More importantly, what kind of motivation and outcome is that dream anchored in? What is the purpose of their dream? What is the outcome that they are looking for? So, if we want them to be happy and healthy and successful in in the true sense, their dream needs to be anchored in something deeper, in something higher than just the welfare of their own family or their own welfare. If we want our children to be remarkable people, yes, they will be unique. If we want our children to be remarkable, if we want our children to be the best version, the best potential of themselves, we need to support them and we need to support their dreams. But we also need to make sure and do our best to help make sure that those dreams are ultimately rooted in something higher, something greater than just the necessities of their own welfare or the welfare of their own family. So I want to share some words from our true father this time. These are words that father gave to young people. He said, what is the general goal of people today? University graduates will try to get a position in a company or a bank that gives you a good salary. That is their final goal. After forming that foundation, they then think they just need to meet a beautiful woman or man and have children. What can become if you live like that, Father asks. What can you become if you live like that? They don't have any concern for humankind or for any of those types of things, Father said. Father goes on, more than your own happiness, you must think for the sake of the people and the world based on the moral ethic of a higher dimension. You must have a broader view of happiness from that higher dimension. And you must also be able to to practice it. So not only have the perspective, not only have the higher dimension, not only have the broader view, but you must 
practice it. They must practice it. We must practice it. I'm sure you know from the principle that you must have the consciousness to carry out a central mission. So, Father is not talking about the specific mission. Father is not talking about the specific career. Father is not even talking about, in this case, what type of person you marry, what school you go to, what job you get, how well you do in any of those things. But first, you must think of the people and the world based on a moral ethic that is higher, broader. You must have a consciousness to carry out a central mission. So, your children's life must seek to do something more than simply survive, be healthy, and be successful. If we want our children to be happy, especially those of us who are speaking of blessed children, if we want our children to be happy, and this is ultimately the same for anybody, but especially those born blessed children, their life, their education, their career, their marriage, their family, their hobbies, their entire framework must be rooted in something higher, broader, greater than that of just happiness for the sake of themselves and their family. It must be rooted in a consciousness that knows they have a mission beyond those things and that all of those things are fine as long as they are serving the purpose of that greater mission. I think maybe we don't spend enough time really thinking or praying about this point. Perhaps we don't even spend enough time discussing with our children. And I'm not just talking about a lecture sitting down and, you know, okay, son, okay. No. It really is a lifetime developing throughout their childhood this conversation, I think. The question you might want to ask is, do your children today, do your children want to anchor their dreams in a higher purpose? Is the uh, dream that they're pursuing, the career, the education, the family, are all those things, are they anchored in a higher purpose? And is that purpose itself rooted in a higher moral ethic? And in fact, that's something that we can all continually strive to reach higher and higher. It's probably good to reflect first on what kind of influence we are to our children. Those of you who led some time as a missionary or serving in a public role, you know, we may be very busy. We may look very busy. We may be talking and acting for the sake of others. We may look like we're living for the sake of others. But how much have I really changed? We have to be real people ourselves. It's not just about the mission. It's not just about accomplishing the framework of whatever mission we are on. We also have to be people who are real real people, able to reflect on ourselves and grow ourselves. So, as children of heavenly parents, as the children of true parents, like we're praying right now to be during this 40 day, what kind of a person am I? What kind of person are you? What kind of a person are we? And what do we live for? What do you live for? The truth is, in fact, many of us from time to time may forget. Yes, we love heaven, we love heavenly parent, parents, but life can be so challenging that it's hard just to figure out how to survive, 
how to make enough money, how to be secure and safe and healthy. Those are all important things to achieve. But if we only chase those things, we will push that higher moral ethic away. If we only chase those things, we will model for our children a behavior that won't help them find that higher ethic. So if we have a chance to build a community and build an environment for them, that's great. If we, if we are in greater number, that's great. If we have you know, workshops to participate in, workshops to send our children to, this is really great. Also because these are opportunities for them to deepen their sense of their own identity and to deepen their relationships with one another and certainly to study. So I encourage you to participate, to help your children participate, in those opportunities with each other. But we also must reflect on ourselves at home. What kind of children do we want our children to be? What kind of lives do we want them to leave behind? It really first depends on me, on you, on us. They need to see that we are living our lives for something greater and broader. But they also need to see that we are doing so truthfully, honestly, able to admit our own uh, weaknesses, our own challenges, able to forgive one another and forgive them and forgive others. So let us build this kind of a community. So as we really think about this time to be children of heavenly parents, children of true parents, Mm. Another way of looking at it is to ask yourself, what kind of children do you want to have? What kind of life do you want to have for your children? Let us make sure, like Father says, that the young people of today are rooting their dream in a moral ethic and a standard that is higher than just happiness for our own sake, survival, success. If we really want them to be happy, let us listen to what your parents are, are saying. Have a great day. Have a great week. God bless you.